In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can construct a very simple formula in Excel. And as we mentioned in the last lesson, we can find all of the functions that we use in formulas on the formulas tab. So we're going to use one of the inbuilt functions to simply calculate the revenue and profit in this spreadsheet. So I'm going to start out with the revenue. Let's click down in the total column, cell C26. Now we mentioned in the last lesson that in order to add numbers together, we preferably select the cell reference as opposed to hard coding the numbers in. And if you have a longer list of numbers like this, and this is a pretty small data set, if I'm honest with you, typing in all these numbers manually would take forever. Even using the cell references would take forever. If I wanted to add up all of this revenue by using the cell reference, I would need to type equals, then select the first one, plus, then select the second one, so on and so forth. Now that is extremely slow. Imagine how slow it would be if you had 20,000 or 30,000 rows of data. Fortunately, there is a much better way to do this. If you want to just add up a single column, we can use the sum function. Now the sum function is probably the most commonly used function in Excel. It simply adds up a list of numbers. Now, if you're looking for the sum function, you're probably going to find it underneath your recently used. As I said, we use it so often, it's normally in here. You can see there it is for me. But the sum function is actually a math and trig function. So if we scroll down, we'll find it in this list as well. Now, what if you're looking for a function and it's not in your recent and you don't know which group it's going to be in? Well, we can actually search through the function library for what we're looking for. So notice the first button that we have on the formulas bar is insert function. This has a keyboard shortcut of shift F3. If we click to open, it's going to produce this little dialog box where we can type in a brief description of what we want to do. And it's going to present us with a list of formulas that match. So I'm going to type in sum a range of numbers, click on go. And you can see it's returned a few different functions here, but the top one is sum. So once you find the function that you're looking for, if you double click, it's going to open up the function arguments box. So this is great if you're new to working with formulas because it sort of gives you a guide as to what needs to go in where. So with this sum formula, we need to provide the numbers to add together. So what I would do in here is simply select everything in this column. Now, notice what it's put in there, C6 to C25. Now, this is what we refer to as a cell range. We're going from one cell to another cell. And those two dots in the middle basically mean two. C6 to C25. And that's all we need. We can click on OK, and you can see it's given us the total in cell C26. Now, cast your eyes up to the formula bar. Check out what we have in there. Hi, from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. It says equals sum, then we have a bracket C6 to C25, close bracket. Now, instead of actually opening up the insert function dialog box and doing it this way, you could simply type the formula into the cell. And for a lot of people, this is their preferred method. It's definitely my preferred method as well. So let's delete out that total and take a look at typing formulas directly into cells. So if we're going to do this calculation again, we're going to say equals and we're going to say sum. Now check out what happens as soon as you start to type in the formula. It pulls up a list underneath, and we call this IntelliSense, of all of the formulas that match what you've just typed. And we can use our arrow keys to scroll through them. And as we do, we're getting a little screen tip pop up, which gives us a bit of an explanation as to what this function is going to do. So we want to use sum. It adds all numbers in a range of cells. Now, the next thing that we need to put in and this is usually the case after you enter in a function, is we need to open a bracket. Now you can type the bracket, or alternatively, if we press the tab key, it's going to put the bracket in for us. 
Now, check out what happens and you'll see this no matter what formula you're using. Underneath, you're going to get this little screen tip pop up, which kind of gives you a guide as to what needs to come next in the formula. So you can see here, it's basically saying number one, number two, and it will carry on number three, number four. We need to enter the numbers that we want to sum. Now, where we have number one and number two, we call these arguments. That's the terminology when you're working with formulas. So our first argument here is this formula requires a number to add. Now, it has number one, number two there because we could go like this, select one number, press comma, and then you see it moves across to number two. We could add another number, press comma, number three, press comma. We could do it that way, but we can also utilize cell ranges. So instead of typing those in individually, I can just select the entire column. It's going to put in C6 to C25, close the bracket, hit enter, and we get our total. Let's do the same for the profit. We can do equal sum, press tab to put in that bracket, and then we can select the profit range of cells. Now we can also use keyboard shortcuts to make our selection. So instead of dragging your mouse all the way down to select the range, you can click in the first one and press Control, Shift, down arrow. That will select everything, close the bracket, hit enter, and we have our total. So a couple of points to remember there if you're brand new to formulas. Remember, you can go to the formulas tab. You can use the insert function dialog box if you find that easier or you can type directly into a cell and you have the formula arguments there to guide you in the right direction. So that's the basics of a simple formula. In the next lesson, we're gonna to start to take a look at six of the most popular formulas that you'll use when you're working in worksheets. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.